Okay, so I decided that I was going to film, um, oh, gosh darn it, there, okay, I decided I was going to film, like, ugh, that just irritates me, like, even these shadows are irritating me. Alright, so I decided that I was going to film whether or not the traffic slowed down or not, because I live, like, American Airlines is in my backyard, and I have highway right here military I've got bombs going off in the background I just can't avoid it no matter where I'm at in the house so I'm just like okay I'm just gonna do it you know there's no point in me waiting because what am I gonna wait for another airplane to come in it's like I can start directing traffic like seriously that is how close I am to the dang airport I hate it Ugh. anyways okay I'm not really sure where I'm gonna go with this kind of like just like let's see where I go with what I put on my face um I got these unnamed samples at Sephora which I even had to ask for the bag for um I I know that this is makeup forever matte velvet and tan and this is the makeup forever primer and then the girl would not give me a sample of like a little moisturizer thingy you know I'm like well can I mix it with the she's like no so I read the back of it, it says you can, and so I just do it myself. Yeah, I just, it's customer service people, come on. You know, I shop there, do I not shop there enough? I mean, come on. Give me a damn sample. All right, I'm done ranting. So I'm going to use these little suckers up and see if I like it because I really like the Makeup Forever Brow, Aqua Brow, that's really nice. Um, <clears throat> open. So this is their primer and then it has a little bit of their, I don't even know what it is, but it moisturizes your face. It's serum. It's a really thick serum. So I'm going to put that on and it smells good. Kind of, mm, I don't know. Kind of it smells a little Lancome-ish. I don't know if I like that. Well, we'll see how. So this I got the primer works. on, and then um, I'm gonna use this. These are cute little containers. Put like beads or something in them. So I'm in the lightest shade um, of the matte velvet, and it looks like a thick foundation. So. Ooh, it feels really nice. Oh man, so I'm just flung. <laughs> it's okay, it's just on a Rite Aid bag. I'll just, I'll use it anyway. So, just put my foundation on with my fingers. And plus you can always warm your face up, but now I look like a geisha. So maybe I should have used, <laughs> gone up and take my Samantha Chapman brush and buff that in. So I'm just taking the Bare Minerals Ready Foundation in Golden Medium. Wait, yeah, am I in Golden? Yeah, Golden Medium. I'm adding a little warmth to my face. Um, actually purchased we can call and talk that's what I'll name this um, I actually purchased the uh, or tutorial I don't know um, I got the bare minerals ready foundation in fairly light because I am fairly light I am very pale for sure That looks better. Well rested by uh, Bare Minerals in the liquid form and this is amazing. So it just comes like this and let me tell you, you look well rested. And I swatched it in the store and it just looks clear, you know, like a, like, like kind of white. See that? Yeah. That's what it looks like. And then you put it on your 
underneath your eyes and into your oh, and it just turns into this beautiful cream and really brightens and illuminates underneath the eye which I really like and it just not really beautiful. a concealer but um, so if you want you can put a concealer underneath this and then apply it but I'm not going to I just want to pop this on so really like this. This is my awesome. second purchase of uh, Benefit Stay Don't Stray. I really fell in love with it when I first tried it. So I mean, I see the little samples and I wish that they had the Dofa applicator because I think it would make this product a whole lot better. And I also think that they should come out with a darker shade for the darker ladies. You know what I'm saying? Because this is um, also a concealer they say. A 360 concealer but it's so 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 you know pale that really only white women can wear it um all the way if they want to use it as a concealer too you know so I just I don't know I think that benefit should you know there, there's more than um white people out there you know there's the darker ladies too, you know, it's like don't forget about them. So I'm just going to let that get really tacky really quick and talk to you about the NARS Rue Bonne, uh, the NARS Rue Bonne, uh, Bonaparte, or Bonaparte, however you want to say it, and this is a nude liner, and it stays forever, and I, and I, get, and I got this for several reasons, and I'll tell you why. Um, first reason is it stays on, um, your water it's water resistant it's nude you can't really see it but it's great for outlining the lips if you're having a um, red lip really makes it stand out it's also great for underneath the brows um, I just really love this and um, I have the L'Oreal and I have a MAC one and this L'Oreal one I actually got the Dollar Tree mind you yes it's flesh tone but it doesn't stay in my waterline and with a blendy blend um, it's gone and you probably can't see it because it just matches my skin but it just is um, it just doesn't have any staying power and so this is what I'm looking for and you don't sharpen it, it has a little sharpener right there so yes thought I would show that to you guys too if you want to see it. Okay, so that's nice Okay, so I just uh, outlined my um, my eyebrows in the Rue Bonaparte uh, by NARS. And then I have the Makeup Forever Aqua Cream brow thing. And I'm just filling in my brows. Oh, I love this stuff. It's easy and fast. It just makes a world of a difference. I don't know. I love it. And I'm excited to see if you guys try it too. Because I want to know how you guys like it. Because this is just amazing. And then I saw on the website how many uh, other colors they have. Which is crazy. So if you like have the Die Hard Silver Hair, they have that for you. Okay, which I so I just awesome. have um, my li little barrel full of Wet n Wild um, shadows that I'm going to just see what we come up with. I love these. They're like my favorite eyeshadows to wear. Um, I like so to pigmented. always use milk and I'm just gonna pop that underneath my brow. Boom. And inner corner. Heck. Put it all over the eye. Why not? Okay. I really like it. It just adds a nice highlight to the brow. Ooh, um, I have this hair that just wants to like stick into my eyeshadow. Okay, come on. Alright, so I got that all over the lid. I love milk. I can't I always lose my pencil and end up repurchasing like I probably have like ten of these. 
Really oh, um, I picked up the We're Blasting Off. We're Blasting Off. How funny is that? We're blasting off into space like that guy is blasting off into space. Um, pretty palette. We're blasting off. <sighs> that guy's crazy. I don't even know his name. I'll uh, insert his name. And if you guys don't know who I'm talking about, who's going to break the sound barrier? He just, oh, going to the edge of space and jumping out of like this first he's being lifted off into a helium balloon and oh you guys can watch this tomorrow because he his first attempt um, was a fail because of the wind so he's going up in a helium balloon and then um, he's going to the edge of the earth and jumping no joke is not that nuts? putting that on the lid I guess I went into the crease I don't know Okay, so that guy's going gonna do that tomorrow. Like so, ten Mountain Time East, ten o'clock. He's doing it in New Mexico, so New Mexico time. So I live in the West Coast, so eight o'clock my time, and ten o'clock in the New Mexico. Yeah, wait, Roswell. Yeah, they're doing it in Roswell. So if you guys see anything weird, it's um. It's him going off into space, and he will be going, he will be breaking the sound barrier, like, I don't even know, like, 700, I don't even know that, what that, all that means, but I just know that it's really cool. If he gets any air in his suit, great. he great? will die. Because this is one of my favorite palettes, and they don't have these anymore. Uh, the Greed Palette by Wet n Wild, and I'm going to go into this peachy color. Oh, I don't know why they discontinued these. This is probably one of my favorites. I'm take that to the inner corner. This is a nice shimmery peach. Okay, so I'm going to take a uh, MAC 217 blending brush. I just picked it up. Any blending brush will do. I just took the Greed palette. Oh, no, 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 no. Vanity palette. This is just a mixture. Um, taking the first color, it's a matte cream color. We'll just apply that to the brown. And then I'll take this little brown color, put that in the crease, make it a little transition y. But what I'm going to do, actually, because I really want this brown to look a little um, burgundy-ish, is I'm going to take... Bonnie sent me this, and it's the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. I'm actually going to um, put this in my outer V, up into my crease a little bit, just to make that brown have a little bit more um, of a... Plummy undertone. I'm taking the vanity palette and I'm mixing the dark brown and this um, kind of satiny color. Just mixing that back and forth. Tap off any excess and putting that in the crease or my made crease. I go above my crease because otherwise you can't see the cosmetic or eyeshadow that I put in there. Yeah. Sometimes I like to take my brush and kind of just wing it out a little bit. Just, I don't know, just I like create this little curve and I just, I don't know what it does, but I like it. So, put this in the crease. This way, and then I go up a little, go in, I like dramatic makeup, you girls know this, so, I have fun and I just play with what I have, you know? Makeup is fun because if it doesn't turn out the way you want, you can always be going on in the middle of my eye. 
So I just took the shimmery color. I'm still using the dang same brush. I've had this brush for a while, long time. I've had my uh, my stippling brush. I've had this for the Mac 187. I've had it for probably a. Uh, Seven years? Yeah. Take care of your brushes and they last. This is really pigmented. Woo, baby. I feel like Zoolander. Wait, that's not even how he talks. Is this albatross? Okay, we'll put this on. I'm just grabbing stuff and <laughs> putting it on my face. Let's have some fun, you know? Why not? Um, This is such a pretty highlight. I mean, it's like BAM! Um, I'm not done with the eyes. I think I already said that. <laughs> But, I don't know. I'm trying to think of what I want to do with my NARS, this bright red. <sighs> I'm just grabbing and going, you girls. Come on. What? That's how I talk to my dog. Oh, let me. Ah. Hi, dear girlfriend. Hi, dear. Sorry. <sighs> Lack of sleep may be, may, be, may be making me goofy, too. So apply that to the cheek area. Apply as much as you want. Apply more if you want to look like a hooker, but I already do. I'm never going to run out of warmth by uh, Bare Minerals, I swear. I have two containers of it, and this stuff is so pigmented that it just goes everywhere, so I'm just kind of going to that on my forehead a little bit and then I like to put it on my nose and kind of I don't know just just depends on what I'm doing I don't think I like the uh, foundation so far don't think so but we'll see hold on okay so this video is gonna take forever but I'm taking the um, gel liner from Ulta in mink and applying this over my linear intense just so it's kind of um, a brownish color that's and I'm just like. going to take that and go under, kind of connect it to the wing and go under a little bit. So I want a little brightness underneath my eyes, so I'm going to go in with the Rue Bonaparte or Bonaparte um, and just fill in the waterline. And um, this really brightens up the waterline it gets away it gets that red away can you see how bright that is compared to this eye it just opens your eye like bam i feel like emerald lagasse every time i say okay, that okay so i didn't put my mascara on but i came across this blush which i forgot i had it's the maybelline in uh ravishing rouge it was this a limited edition it was I love this color. Um, it's a burgundy, it's a blush, but I'm using it as an eyeshadow. I do that, just multi-purpose. And it is so pretty. I just put a little bit in the crease just to see what it would look like. And I love it. Um, putting red in the eye, actually, is a makeup artist tip. Just a little bit. Marilyn Monroe would actually take a red eyeliner pencil and dot right there 
because it would brighten her inner corner of her eyes. So that's neat. I don't know, this just brings a little bit of depth within that so gray. So I put on my um, L'Oreal Carbon Black and then I put on these double lashes that Lindsay sent me. Um, oh, about a month or so ago. And I love these and I reuse them. If you take care of your lashes, you can definitely reuse them. And I use the uh, Revlon Precision Glue and Black, and I keep it in its package. That way it doesn't get messy. And then, yeah. So you don't have to apply false eyelashes, of course, but I like to. It's just my preference. Uh. Matte Velvet. The Bon. Oh my gosh, now it's in my eye. Something's in my eye. Ow, my finger. Come on. Uh. I want to put Rambling Rose over it. And this is such a pretty peachy coral. Um, it's a, was it a frost? It is a frost. I love it. Ah, uh. uh, I mean. I love to mix and match. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh, what is this? Beige Pearl. <laughs> Beige Pearl. Mm. By NYX. And I really like their lip product. I want to lighten this up a little bit more. I'm going to use the Milani Shadow Eyes and Champagne Toast. And lighten in the middle. I'm going to take this so this prevents my makeup from feathering. And I just go under it. And then, that well, just helps prevent from feathering, and it just kind of, um, especially up here, it so just Oh, thank you for getting more. ready with me. Um, I had fun. This was a fun video to do. Just randomly grab stuff and just go with it, baby. Have fun with your makeup. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe and thank you that I for all the people that I have already. You guys are totally amazing. I love you guys so much. Like um, I really have had a great, lots of great people. So I'm over in Facebook. I feel like I got teeth mm, on my teeth. Mm. I'm over on Facebook. My username's uh, Jacob. Duh. My username is Jamaica Artist, and I'll leave all the links down below. Um, I'll leave my link for the lip combos that I have done and maybe a couple other links if you guys are interested. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about the matte velvet foundation. Not sure. Um, not sure. So yeah and then I'm on Twitter so you can tweet at me. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of the Lorac in the middle. Ooh. Now that's fancy. There you go. That was fun getting ready with me and hauling and oh one thing I have to mention. I got the Suave Dry Shampoo, the keratin one and it hides like my roots and I really really love it so if you're blonde I totally recommend it it smells like a salon it's not florally it's just clean scent and also I have to say that if you have dark hair I'm not sure how that will work on your hair because it is like like blonde powder so I don't know I've used the Tresemme one and I 
have an old video on it and it it works great with my black hair but I don't know how this would work on dry hair so anyways thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you in my next video which will be like really soon because I'm gonna continue filming um yeah so anyways I will talk to you ladies later leave comments down below um I love hearing from you guys you guys are awesome and yeah so have a great night day yeah bye Mwah.